Hello, we're going to be doing a teardown of the MakerBot Smart Extruder. Uh, this is a pretty straightforward process. The only tool you're really going to need is something sharp and flat. I'm using a flex cut because these are what I'm comfortable with. Uh, an X-Acto knife is probably too thin and might snap, so I'd recommend something with a little bit sturdier of a blade. Uh, it's pretty straightforward to take one of these apart. Um, the first step is to remove the filament guide. That's this piece here on top, and this actually slides right off. So once that's off, just go ahead and put it aside. Uh, the next step is to remove the fan shroud, and that's this piece here, comes all the way around. Using your flex cut or X-Acto knife, just pry on these plastic clips until it pops off. And once that's off, you can put that aside as well. Uh, the next step is there's six plastic clips on the side, on both sides of the extruder. Uh, now it's important to note here that these are really delicate and will snap off. So you can see I've already snapped one off here. Uh, so use a minimal amount of force. They're kind of stubborn, so you just want to slide it up a little bit. And then kind of gently pry as you go. Um, with these ones I find it's usually easier to start prying as you lift them. So these three are already good. So this side's coming up. Now move to the next side, and pry, and separate. Okay, so now this part is off. It looks like I popped another one of these clips off. Not a big deal if you pop one off. Um, there are six of them in total, so as long as you still have a few remaining, it'll go back on. Uh, once you start getting to the point where you have one on each side, you're going to start having some more serious problems. Um, so this is the inside of the Smart Extruder. I know it looks a little bit intimidating, but it's pretty straightforward. Um, once you get to this point, just remove the bearing on top. That's this guy. Uh, and then remove the spring assembly. And that piece comes right off. Now, this is going to be... There's actually a, there's a little piece in here that's held on by a magnet. And this is almost certainly going to be where your jam is. You can kind of see in here. This is the piece of plastic that was jammed in there. So it's pretty straightforward to remove. Just grab and pull. And then it comes out in two little pieces. Uh, reassembly is fairly straightforward once you're inside here. Um, while you're in here, it's probably not a bad idea to clean out the hob bolt. That's this thing right here. You can see all these ground up bits of plastic. That'll prevent it from extruding uh, efficiently. So if you have something small, like a small, thin exacto knife, you can kind of get in there and clean it up a little bit. Uh, if not, it's not a huge deal. Um, Putting the spring extruder back on, you want to put a little bit of pressure on this when you put it back in so it clips down. And replace the smaller spring. Um, word of caution as well, don't do this when it's hot. I probably should have mentioned that earlier. Um, otherwise, you may burn your fingers. I replace the bearing and once everything is in you can kind of check here to make sure this piece is sitting flush you'll want to replace the top and click it so all of these uh, tabs snap back into place sometimes you'll have a problem where the wire will actually kind of sit here and it'll prevent this from shutting Probably not a great idea to do that with a knife, just in case you cut the wire. If you're not comfortable with soldering, it'll become a bigger deal, but I'm just pushing it back in. And now it's good. Uh, replace the filament tube. And put the fan back on. And now we're done. And you've successfully disassembled and reassembled a MakerBot Smart Extruder.